Hello. Welcome to Green New World, Episode 3. I'm John Salupas. I'm Alexios Salupas. And in case this is your first time tuning in with us, this is a show in search of sustainability by highlighting the products around the world that are going to lead us to a better future. So this week's episode, we're going to do exactly that. You know, we talked about Abu Dhabi. We talked about Tesla. Today, we're going to talk about what you, as the consumer, can do to just shop sustainable products. Because, you know, I truly believe that it's going to take everybody committing to shopping sustainably and living sustainably to help our planet. And I think, I'm not a psychology major, but I will say this, that as you gradually change your mindset to be thinking about sustainability in 10 years, you're not even going to think about what you buy or how you buy. You're going to be thinking sustainably, and it's just better for the planet. It's part of your life. It is. Like a lifestyle. That's just how you're consumer conscious is going to go. We'll get into some of the economics. You have this thing called substitute goods. And it's basically when you have two products, you can substitute one product for another product. In this case, we're going to talk about sustainable substitutes, eco-friendly, environmentally friendly products that you can substitute for. For me, it's one of the easiest ways for you to get involved is just doing a little bit of extra work and finding out if there's something better for the planet out there, like toothbrushes. Did you know there's one billion plastic toothbrushes are thrown away every year in the United States, creating 50 million pounds of waste annually? One billion toothbrushes? One billion with a B. B Just thrown away every year. Yeah. That's nuts. And you know, there's a sustainable substitute, a bamboo-based toothbrush. The bamboo is organic, the bamboo decomposes, and the bamboo goes back to the earth. Is that just like one of those bathroom products instead of just using a toothbrush and chucking it. Yeah. Get a bamboo one that'll biodegrade and decompose. What other kind of options are there? What else is out there for bathroom substitutes? Bathroom substitutes? I got a super cool one for you. Native is a bathroom product type company and they have a deodorant stick that is made out of cardboard. So it's like the regular deodorant inside of cardboard. So it's not plastic. That's wild. Instead of just plastic, they're just finding a different way. Passionate. Creating a product. It's deodorant. You know, you don't need the plastic. It can be wrapped in anything. You can wrap yeah. it in tinfoil. Yeah. You can wrap it in pretty much anything you wanted. But they found, like, a better way. So you don't have to rely on plastic. Exactly. Let me say this. It's time for you guys out there to actually be a man and not worry about smelling like some just made-up <laughs> phrase. Cool sport rush. <laughs> and start smelling What does like that mean? What is cool sport <laughs> rush? Axe Phoenix. Yeah, Axe Phoenix. Be a Phoenix. <laughs> Speaking of plastics, too, this one's nuts. Plastic water bottles. In the past 10 years, we've used 4 trillion plastic water bottles. Single-use plastic water bottles, and they don't get recycled like they should. I think it's like, uh, you know, maybe a very small percentage actually get recycled. It's more just dumped. And then here's the number. Here's the number. In 2018, there were 482 billion single-use plastic water bottles out there. The, it, <laughs> the solution? <laughs> Just buy a water bottle. We're not going to plug a water bottle. If we have a water bottle sponsorship, just buy a, like, one. Like, a, anything you want. Get any type of water bottle out there. And get just anything. That's just where I get mine. And they work. And they work. Here's another good one. Yeah? Grocery bags. Oh, God. Single-use plastic you. grocery thank bags. Thank you, 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 thank you. In the Bahamas, which is... Our, our, home. Mother's, our mother's island nation. Our mom's worth the Bahamas. We've been to the Bahamas. We're half Bahamian. They just banned plastic grocery bags. No more plastic. They, they just said we're not doing it anymore. If the Bahamas, a tiny Caribbean island nation, can just say, hey, you know what, guys? When you're coming to the store, bring a bag because there's not going to be a bag for you there. And it just they just said, we're done. Did they all live with it? Yeah. I'm pretty sure after like the second or third time you went and you forgot your bag, you started going. You just made that quick, like you said. Conscious shift. Conscious switch. It's like, oh, I'm going to the grocery store. Let me bring a bag. Well, and in a place like that, it's not like you're going to have a choice. You're just going to be having to carry your groceries (laughs) in your arms. Nobody wants to do that. No one. (laughs) You just walk out of the store. So you have to find the sustainable, (laughs) you know, option. Here's the point I want to make real quick. Civilization has been around for thousands of years. Of course. And it functioned as a civilization. We had advanced ancient civilizations. They had water. They had farming. They had technology. They didn't use the plastics to the degree to which we use plastics now. You know? 
Yeah. We can you, function as a society without plastics. It's highly possible. You know what they did back then? What? They had these things made of ceramics. <laughs> jars. <laughs> and this is my jar. <laughs> I'm going to go put water in my that jar. That was it, dude. Hey, it don't take hard. the water from my <laughs> jar. Will you help? Hey, Salim, will you come with me to the watering hole? I got to fill up my jar. <laughs> I have a jar. Now we've got bottles and bottles and bottles. Everywhere. 1907 was when plastic was created. So before that, we weren't killing our environment with plastic. We've only had it for 100 years. And we've already caused that much damage. It's insane. Yeah. Dude, here's the thing about the grocery bags. It costs $4,000 to recycle one ton of plastic bags. But when you go to the market to sell it, they only sell for $32. So it's not economically viable. So no one's going to be recycling those plastic bags. So it just goes, goes into the landfills and it gets dumped. And that's it. It's not like feasible. Unless maybe the innovation gets better, but right now. So just quit using the grocery plastic bags. Very simple switch. Bring it back. You know what's really cool? Next. Did you know that there's a company making notebooks out of rocks? Stone notebooks. They're waterproof. They're so cool. I got myself a stone notebook for my journaling needs. It's amazing. They're made from limestone. The pages are not only crisper and more environmentally friendly than traditional pulp paper, but completely water and grease proof. Yeah, and instead of having to chop down forests for a notebook, they're getting it from limestone which is nuts that's so cool you see this piece of paper right here it's an important piece of paper it rips the stone paper it doesn't no nothing it doesn't rip incredible it's rock solid because it's made from freaking rocks <laughs> <laughs> here's here's one more thing shoes shoes are actually oh they yeah. get clumped in with the fashion industry and the fashion industry if you look at the stats emits more co2 emissions than airlines and transportation combined the fashion industry has a lot of issues they got to sort to environmentally. We'll just talk about shoes because there's so many ways you can go. If you're out there and you're looking to buy new shoes, there's an option out there. It's like, for example, nothing All Birds. No. But All Birds is the superior shoe. Their shoes only emit 7.6 kilograms of CO2 emissions. But the Nothing New is made entirely out of like recycled products. They're taking plastic water bottles to make shoes. All Birds is using merino sheep wool to construct a shoe that is has the sole made from castor bean oil. For these shoe companies, they're not carbon neutral now, but what they're working towards is carbon zero. And they're aware about it. It's on their website. We still have some CO2 emissions, but we're working towards this. And what they're doing is to offset those costs of production. They're helping fund carbon capture technologies, planting trees, planting forests, and helping out so we can get to that carbon zero. These companies are working toward that goal. So I think we got a, a sure review we'll do. Yeah, between I think nothing a new. battle. I think we have to have a battle because I stand by it. These are better than the nothing new. Dude, I don't know. We got the nothing use right here. We'll have a, a sustainable shoe review competition. A battle. Let the best shoe win. I mean, the best shoe win, my man. It's definitely going to be the Allbirds. Allbird Nation! Nothing new. Remember, if you like this episode, <laughs> <laughs> like, comment, subscribe, send your friends. And uh, next week, we're going to be talking about something sustainable. That's for sure. <laughs> I don't know yet. We don't know yet. Together, we can build a green new world. Thank you. <laughs>